Prime sector recently participated in a voluntary port state audit to see just how the Bahamas measures up against countries and to identify any weaknesses in the system. Our Janae and Noel Ferguson talked with Minister for the Environment Earl DeVoe who shared those results and an update on the thriving industry. The Bahamas is continuing to make a mark in the maritime industry. With the third largest ship registry in the world, Minister with Responsibility of Maritime Affairs Earl DeVoe says a recent IMO port state audit also concluded that the Bahamas remains in the top tier. As a result of the audit, um, we are in the top five in all of the critical categories and overall we were number one as a flag state. The, the top 10 flag states, we are number one in that grouping uh, in terms of port detentions and overall quality of register. The audit also called for some legislative amendments, but DeVoe says there is no urgency to put those measures in place. However, as with all successes, there are some challenges. What we've found is that growing the commercial fleet uh, in traditional ways will be a constant challenge for the Bahamas. We are, in terms of the number of flags in the world, our likely spot is probably that in the uncomfortably in the top five because of Panama, because of Hong Kong, because of Singapore, Liberia, and the way we have positioned ourselves. Yacht registry and airplane registry are two ways where we thought we could greatly expand opportunities in the Bahamas. And so by passing the Yacht Code and redoing the fees, we were able to position the Bahamas to compete with places like Cayman Islands. But perhaps one of the most exciting things happening in the maritime industry is the training of young men and women. DeVoe says that Campbell Shipping is playing a major role. Campbell Shipping Company is spearheading that and they're in direct association with the College of the Bahamas. The Prime Minister's office has agreed a lease for Silver Key for them and uh, they anticipate spending upwards of $20 million establishing the maritime school. Their premise is based on the fact that Campbell Shipping owns and manages 15 ships worldwide, and they alone employ 2,000 mariners aboard their ships. They met with the Bahamas Ship Owners Association, and they sought and obtained a commitment that were they to establish this maritime institute in the Bahamas, they can look forward to placing Bahamians aboard ships. Janana Noel Ferguson, Saturnus News.